I am not deleting you because we have different political views. I am deleting you because you get your views from CNN and you actually believe them. The owner of Canada's largest group of newspapers said yesterday that it's earned $700,000 in net profits in the second quarter. Big improvement because they've been losing money. But hey, I wouldn't brag about that. How come you made money? Because the government gave you the money. The government effectively owns you, right? Lock, stock, and barrel. They don't have title. They own you anyway because they support you. And now you're getting extra money, COVID money, and you have the audacity to stand up in front of God and everybody and say, ah, we're making money now. You have shareholders. They should make them happy. I don't know. It doesn't make me very happy. It's just another thing that says how mismanaged Canada is. There's no leadership and they're giving away money to other countries, to newspapers. They own the media. This ain't good. Hitler would have liked this kind of stuff. Wow. And then you swing over to British Columbia, Vancouver. The city paid $645,000 for an outdoor public toilet. Who does that? How can you do that? It's a prefabricated toilet. It was made in Oregon, and the cost apparently is 150 grand, which is still outrageous. I mean, what? Jeez, the rest of the money, though, was for water connections. There's apparently a big budget for this kind of stuff, $100 million. I don't know. They just keep on being themselves. I mean, this is, there are no words. Just say it. Schools, they need to be better. You know, kids need to be taught better stuff. Schools have money. They can afford to have the best teachers, but hey, they can't fire the ones that they have because they're socialists, they have a union, and you're not allowed to do that. And the money comes from school taxes, and I pay school taxes, you do. Everybody that owns property in Canada and the U.S. today, you pay school taxes, and you know what? Some complain. I don't. I mean, it's okay, because I don't want to be in a country with stupid people. So why don't you use my money properly. Just say it. And then you have in North Carolina, you have a university, Elon University, that has canceled an event for white people to process their complicity and in injustice because a meeting would exclude other races. So you can have meetings with just black people and other minorities, but you can't have it with the white folk, right? Okay, then. And then you have two U.S. senators, actual real senators. This is kind of bizarre, too. And they recently announced in public, again, in front of God and everybody, that they will refuse to confirm white nominees for any office. That, that needs a moment of silence, eh? It doesn't matter if you're qualified or not. They're saying, hey, you can't do this. It ain't legal. I don't think they can. And they're senators. See how I'm mumbling and stumbling because this is so bloody shocking to me. These are lawmakers. They're racist. They're total racist. What about other colors? What about white people? And they say, we won't confirm white nominees for any office. <gasps> oh boy, racism is bad. Politicians who practice it, media who doesn't report it, they're also very bad. Diversity represents what? It's got to be based on, on color, gender, um, gender identity. That, that too is bad. That's, that's just not proper. How about uh, higher whites only? How do you like that? I mean, the laws that go on, I mean, in California here, just not too long ago, a month or two ago, maybe, uh, most of the gated communities have, have uh, people who cut the brass and all this stuff, right? And, and there's lots of them that do a good job, I would say. And I went up one day and I spoke to the foreman and, and I said, how many white people are on staff? Well, first thing I said, how many people are on staff? And I think there's 120 or something. And I said, how many are white? He looked at me very strange and he said, excuse me? I said, how many are white? He said, none. And I said, is that legal? Aren't you supposed to have at least 25%? Like I know in California generally, you have to have blacks and Hispanics and other people because nobody likes white folk that much. Good grief. I mean, politicians, it's all about liberalism and socialism and politicians who sell uh, socialism and that. You know what? They're thugs. They seek power in the name of the people only to repress the very people they claim to champion, all the while having a, you know, an entirely different lifestyle than all those other people. They always try to break it down with colors and things, and, and people aren't that way. Some are. But overall, they're not. And they're trying to force this stuff and going on and just doesn't make any sense. And the right way is my way. Take the right way or take the highway. Hey, y'all come back tomorrow. We have more astounding things for you from the right.